Okay, so if you really understand percent and have strong algebra skills, or even basic algebra skills, you should be able to solve this problem right here. So the problem is 9% of 2x plus 1 is 70, and the objective of this problem is to solve for x. And uh, feel free to use a calculator if you want to try this problem. But uh, if you can figure this out, put your answer into the comment section. I'll show you the correct answer here in just one second. And then, of course, I'll walk through the solution to this problem step by step. But uh, before we get started, let me quickly introduce myself. My name is John. I have been teaching middle and high school mathematics for decades. It really is my true passion to try to make learning math as easy as possible. So if you need help with math, check out my math program at tcmathacademy.com. You'll find a link to that in the description below. And if this video helps you out, don't forget to like and subscribe as that definitely helps me out. Okay, so here is the problem. If you're not ready uh, to see the solution yet, just pause the video. But if you have your answer ready, let's go ahead and take a look at the solution. The answer is the following. X is approximately equal to 388.38. Okay, so uh, just a little thing here. In mathematics, when you have an answer that is exactly equal to a number, like X is equal to 7, that's fine. But if you have some sort of ongoing decimal, like 3, 2, 5, 1, etc., da, 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 uh, you just basically can round off. But you need to be mindful that the symbol that you're going to be using is not the equal sign. You change that to the approximate sign because you're given an approximation, an estimation, anytime you are rounding off. So just a little um, you know, reminder for those of you out there that uh, may not be fully aware of what this symbol means. Okay, that's really important in math. But uh, if you got this right, that is fantastic. Let's celebrate by giving you a nice little happy face and A+, plus, a 100%, and multiple stars. So yes, indeed, you can brag to your family that you are an expert in percent algebra problems. Your family will be so impressed with that. They'll be like, wow, you must be a math genius. Okay, so let's go ahead and get into this problem. And a good place to start here is if you're confused by the problem, and this is a really good uh, strategy in mathematics in general, or any problem solving, is if you're like, well, I don't even really quite know where to start, is to try to look at a simpler version of the problem. Okay, so let's just uh, review how to find a percent of a number. So uh, we'll get back to the actual problem here in a second. 9% of 2x plus 1 is 70. But let's make sure we can understand a more basic version of the problem or type of problem, which is, uh, and I'll just use in this example, 70% of 120. So in other words, how do we find the percent of a number? Okay, so you got to uh, be able to do this before you can obviously do this problem. So just a quick review of percent. When we want to find a percent of a number, what we need to do is change the percent into a decimal. Okay, now how do we do that? Well, this is quite easy. All we need to do is divide by 100. Anytime you want to change a number from percent into a decimal, all you do is divide by 100. Now, when you divide any number by 100, uh, the result is this. So here's 70 percent or 70.0 percent. Now I wrote the 0 percent just to highlight where the decimal point is at, right? So 70 percent is really 70.0 percent. This is the decimal point. So when you divide a number by 100, what ends up happening is you scoot the decimal point over two places to the left. Okay, so that's a pretty common way to um, yeah, just remember how to go from percent to a decimal. You just move the decimal point over two places to the left. But basically, again, what's going on is you're dividing by 100. Okay. All right. So that's the first thing we need to do is change this percent to a decimal. So now we have 0 0.70. And then what do we do? Uh, this is pretty straightforward. All we have to do is uh, multiply that percent as a decimal by the number that you're trying to find that percent of. So 0 0.70 times 120. And of course, feel free to use your calculators is 84. All right, so 70% of, of 120 is 84. Now, let's just look at this statement here for a second. 70% of 120 is 84. Now, I've kind of, you know, sound like a broken record here, but the reason why I'm stating that is if you think about our problem okay, that we're actually doing, uh, and of course, I'll get back to that in one second. But first, uh, I want to ask you, if you haven't yet subscribed 
please consider subscribing and hitting that notification uh, button. That is really, really helping me on YouTube. But let's get back to the prom here. So 70% of 120 is 84. Now let's look at the actual prom here. 9% of this thing is 70. Okay, 9% of this thing, this is an expression, 2x plus 1 is 70. And if you kind of go back here, 70% of 120 is 84. So you see how there's a comparison here, right? In other words, the, uh, the prom that we're dealing with that involves algebra is in the same format as this, uh, this particular prom. So if we know how to find the percent of a number, that's exactly what we're going to be doing to solve this particular uh, percent problem. So let's go ahead and translate this into an actual equation. Okay. All right. So we have 9%, right? We're trying to find 9% of a number. That's really what we're trying to do. So if you think about this, we're saying, hey, 9% of some number. Now, this number is kind of a crazy number because it's an expression. We don't really know the number. But if we know, if we did know the number, 9% of this number is or is equal to 70. Okay. So this is the way you need to be thinking in order to solve, you know, these type of percent prompts. Okay. So let's just go ahead and follow the, um, procedure as we just did with this previous problem. So how do we find a percent of a number? Easy. First of all, we're going to take this percent and turn it into a decimal. So we're just going to move that decimal point over two places to the left or divide by 100. So 9% is 0 0.09. And we're going to multiply it by this mystery number right here, which is being represented by this uh, expression, algebraic expression, right? So 9% of 2x plus 1. Remember, this is a value. Just think, oh, this is some number. I don't know what it is. But I know if I took 9% of this thing, it is, anytime you see is in a, a statement, it's always is, is the equal sign. Is equal to or is. So it's equal to 70. Okay, so now let's just review this. 9%, this is 9% as a decimal of this mystery number, is equal to 70, all right? So if you're comfortable with this, uh, at this point, you're like, okay, yep, this makes sense. Uh, what we need to now uh, do is uh, put on our algebra equation solving hat to solve 4x. So now we have the equation 0 0.09 times 2x plus 1 is equal to 70. How do we solve this equation? Well, I'm going to show you that right now. Okay, so to solve this equation, 0 0.09 times 2x plus 1, first thing we need to do is the distributor property. We've got to take that 0 0.09, multiply it by this 2x. We're going to get 0.18x, and this 0 0.09 times this 1, we're going to get 0 0.09 equal to 70. Now, if you're kind of overwhelmed, you're like, oh, okay, you know, I didn't understand the percent stuff, now you get into algebra. Well, let me give you a couple suggestions. One, if you need help with basic math, I have, I'm going to leave the links uh, to both of these courses in the description. Uh, check out my math foundation course. That will really help you with like fundamental mathematics. But if you need help with basic algebra, check out my pre-algebra course. Also, I have a ton of additional videos on my YouTube channel and all these categories as well. Okay, so we're going to take that 0 0.09 and we're going to use the distributive property. We're going to have 0 0.18x plus 0 0.09 is equal to 70. And don't do this by hand. Use your calculator. And uh, what we're going to do now is subtract this 0 0.09 from both sides of the equation. So you can see that right here. And then we're going to add down in a column manner. And you should uh, kind of follow my format here. Okay, if you're kind of following along, you should uh, have your work look like my work. Okay. So 0.18x plus nothing is 0.18x, uh, positive 0.09 uh, plus a negative uh, 0.09 or 0.09, and we're subtracting away a 0.09 is going to be 0. We don't need to write that. 70 minus 0.09 is going to be 69.91. Okay, so what do we need to do here to solve for x? Easy. We just have to divide both sides of the equation by 0.18. So again, use your calculator. We got 69.91 divided by 0.18, and then of course we're going to end up with our answer, which is approximately 388.38. You can go on and on and on, but this is basically the answer. Okay, so hopefully you know this made sense. Again, you know in mathematics and any type of problem-solving situation, if you don't understand uh, the kind of the scenario. In other words, let's say you're dealt you're dealing with a percent problem or any other type of problem, uh, and you're confused. What you want to try to do is think of a simpler version of that problem type, if you can, okay? And just be like, okay, well, let me just think about this basic problem and see if that can kind of 
you know, help you think about how to approach this more complicated problem. What you want, you know, we, what you don't want to do is just try to remember, uh, you know, how to do a problem like this without uh, understanding it. That's a bad way to learn anything. To really, you know, make your life easier in mathematics, uh, there's only one approach, okay? And that is to actually understand, you know, the skills that you're being taught just one at a time, okay? And if you run into problems in mathematics, it's likely, you know, because you don't understand a couple of different skills, all right? So what you want to do is pause, review, correct those, and keep moving forward. Okay, so with that being said, I definitely wish you all the best in your mathematics adventures. Thank you for your time, and have a great day.